according to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Please note that the percentage of these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. <laughs> For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, now you don't know what the hell to do. Man. Nah, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. That was the goat. The goat, Norm MacDonald. I think I'm ready to do some real news. Welcome to the Real News with White Jesus, and here's a string of jokes. Our top story is right before our second story. And our next story, Trump supporters breach the Senate chamber and break into offices of politicians. This was nuts. But, you know, let's uh, welcome the new Speaker of the House, Redneck number one. And new Vice President, the Horned Redneck. It's like the world's turned into like a circus. And Donald Trump is the, uh, is the uh, circus king. Anyway, our next story. The President Donald J. Trump has been kicked off Twitter for good. How, how's he going to do anything now? Hey, uh, does... Does anyone else see this ending with a uh, good old-fashioned murder-suicide in a bunker with Melania? 26 retirees die after a visit by COVID-infested Santa. Good lord, man. Santa has been killing so many people this year. He's got the uh, red suit and everything, man, but he's got some blood on his hands as well. Like, can you believe how many people have died because of Santa this year? Ridiculous. To be fair, all 26 retirees were on the naughty list. Doesn't make it better. Santa, stop fucking killing people. Our next story, Trump to visit U.S.-Mexico border to praise wall. <laughs> That's going to be sad, him standing at like six, foot, six feet of wall. I certainly hope he doesn't praise the wall like he praises the flag. That's creepy unseemly our next story archaeologists unearth ancient snack bar in pompeii the first very serious discovery turned into plain silliness when the archaeologists started daring each other to eat the ancient nachos you don't want to eat them pompeii nachos that that's no buenos nachos samuel little serial killer behind 93 murders has died at 80 our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and friends. Just kidding. Rotten hell, buddy. Our next story. A man files a lawsuit over Hawaiian rolls not being made in Hawaii. In related news, a class action lawsuit has been filed against Taco Bell over their Mexican pizza not being made in Mexico. Can't things just have names anymore? Ridiculous, right? Our next story, Ken Jennings of Jeopardy apologizes for insensitive tweets. Shit, man, this guy just got the dream job of a lifetime. And fucking uh, Twitter's got him already. The tweet in question said, Nothing sadder than a hot chick in a wheelchair. <laughs> uh, okay, that that's actually kind of funny. Um, but let's get uh, serious again, man, because this is the news. The wheelchair community was just fine with the off-color joke, but he wasn't safe from hot white liberal girls. He apologized for the tweet, saying, Who is sorry for his insensitive tweet? And the answer is, Who is Ken Jennings? Because he has to uh, apologize in the form of a question. In Squirrel News... Angry squirrel aggressively attacking residents of Queens neighborhood. Reached for comment, the squirrel said, Yo, I represent Brooklyn, dog. F 
Fuck all these weak ass fools and queens. If you don't want to get got, you better offer up some of them nuts, fool. Yo, that is one gangsta ass squirrel. I would stay away from that squirrel if I were you. What if, what if that squirrel uh, forms a gang? All of a sudden, New York, it's got squirrel gangs. It's going to be like Planet of the Apes, except with squirrels. Our next story, very chill llama found wandering off highway. It's an odd way to describe a llama. Uh, the chill llama was taken to a zoo where scientists are trying to figure out why he's so chill. Probably because of that. You know, I, I bet he's friends with that popular alpaca from like a few weeks ago. Our next story, Boston Dynamics unveils dancing robots. This new development poses a very serious question. Do these robots dance to remember or dance to forget? I'm not sure they should be dancing at all. Better than me. He was not programmed by white people. I think everybody who has seen a white Jesus dance knows that uh, I dance to forget. Our next story, American Airlines to stop allowing emotional support animals. What are those poor nervous flyers going to do now? Well, I guess there's some good news here. Airline officials said people could still... Bring their pacifiers and blankies. So, you know, you can get freaked out by that flight. Just suck on that pacifier, hold that blankie, man. Pretend the person next to you is a dog. In Florida Man news, Florida Man stomps roof of a police car for an Instagram video, and it got him jailed in Miami. Florida Man, dude, we're all pulling for you. Get your life together. Reach for comment, the infamous Florida man was asked why he would do something so stupid. He replied, because I'm Florida man, and it's what I do. Florida man, up, up, and away. Then the Florida man tried to fly away like Superman, only to run away when he realized he couldn't fly. Whew. I don't know, meth maybe? You're not a superhero, Florida man. Actually, you're kind of a superhero. Our next story, Boston Red Sox just hired Bianca Smith, the first black woman to coach in professional baseball history. Reach for comment, actor Tom Hanks stated, Girls can't coach baseball. You see, back in the day, there was a movie called A League of Their Own. Tom Hanks had a famous quote in there. It said, Girls can't play baseball. That's why that's funny. Our next story, Boston Marathon Bomber sues over ball cap and showers in prison. Bombers shouldn't even be allowed to sue. He is suing because they took away his baseball cap and that he is restricted to only three showers a week. The lawsuit was met in shock as he is a terrorist. Fuck this guy and his prisoner privilege. I say the prison makes him wear a uh, one of those nerdy hats with the propellers on the top there. And make him wear that all the time. Uh, but I do hope they give him more shower time with an added bonus... You guessed it. Anal prison shower rape. Fuck you, uh, Boston bomber. You suck. And finally, members of Trump cabinet discussing invoking the 25th Amendment. Uh, for those unfamiliar with the Constitution, and you've lucked out because I'm a uh, student of the Constitution, uh, the 25th Amendment allows them to remove a president from office, tar and feather him, and put him in one of those carnival-style dunk tanks in the front lawn of the White House until he is eventually forced to poop his own pants because they're not going to let him use the bathroom. See, the 25th Amendment says that once you remove that president from office, no more bathroom, right? Then they tar and feather him, all right? And then they put him in that dunk tank, and they just leave him there. And they wait till he poops his pants. So that's the... Uh that's what the 25th Amendment's all about. The more you know. And that was the real news. I'm Chevy Chase and you're not. Wait, I'm not Chevy Chase. That's the real news with White Jesus. No fake news here. We'll see you next week.
This is the part where we end the show. It's called the wrap up. And it's called the wrap up because that's what we're doing. We're ending the show. It's over. I hate to be so dramatic about it, but I want you guys to remember always white Jesus loves you. We'll see you next show. Next show.